translating physical information into psychological information is the same process as what's known in physics as information transduction. Wind energy can be transduced into mechanical energy using a windmill. Mechanical energy can be transduced into electrical energy by using an electric converter. Electrical energy can be transduced into heat by using a heat transducer. The energy and information don't change. Only the form changes. Or a simpler analogy is how you can turn water to steam or to ice. It's all the same energy and information. Only the form of its expression changes. A body symptom is information in the form of physical sensations. But within this information is a psychological process. Processing tools can help you access this nonverbal, sensory-based information and make it available to consciousness. This not only transforms your symptoms and illness, it also raises your awareness, like it did with me when I worked on my headache. Information transduction also happens within sensory channels. This is what people mean when they say things like they channel their hurt or anger into creativity or channel their experience of abuse into making social change. The information gets converted from one form to another. Whatever you feel in life is both physical and psychological. Doing the body scan will train you to focus your attention on your body and direct it to go where you want it to go, and to go however deeply you want to go with it. It's a basic tool for processing not only your physical symptoms, but anything in your process that manifests through your body. Learning to navigate your senses gives you the rudiments of self-awareness. It's the music scales of processing. But instead of using sounds, it uses body feeling. In future episodes, I'm going to show you how to combine the ability to feel your process with your use of other sensory channels such as visualization, movement, and more complex channels like relationships. We each have channels we're naturally gifted at and others we're less familiar with. Some people are awesome visualizers while others can barely do it. Some folks have great proprioceptive or kinesthetic talent, but have trouble visualizing. Others excel at relationships, while many of us suck at it. <laughs> but we can and should train all of our channels.